Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm a STEM ambassador and I'm also a university student in computing science. <clears throat> I've put together a couple of videos that I hope are useful and practical to anyone, especially those who would like to get into coding. I speak about some resources that I've used, getting inspired to code, and I try to give practical information for people who already code based on my own experiences. I hope the videos are useful and thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. Happy National Coding Week! There are loads of resources available for anyone to use. A site that I've used quite a lot and one that's been helpful is SoloLearn. It's almost like Duolingo, but for programming. They also provide certificates for completing their online courses, most of which are free. There are other coding websites, such as Code Academy, Code.org, and way more. I think what would help most is finding a project you would just love to work on and then going for it. It doesn't matter whether you follow a tutorial or you just find the skills to make the project totally on your own, you'll gain new skills regardless. Even looking on YouTube for resources, you can find anything from Wii tutorials to documentary style videos or even documentaries and even lectures from university courses like MIT in America. The internet's a, a great resource f for learning how to program just because there's so much information available. You'll be able to find even books in an online format which is really useful. I would advise anyone to not be discouraged from learning how to code. Everyone has their introduction to programming and it takes time to learn things. It's really great fun, even just as a hobby. There's so many things to learn and get involved with. I don't think it'll get boring or old because you can move on to something just new and more interesting just to yourself. For those who are already programming, there are many ways you can build on your knowledge. Programming languages are always bigger than they seem, so maybe try poking around, find a feature you haven't used before and start trying it out, maybe make use of it in your own code. In many programming languages you have uh, something called libraries, which ho they usually hold specialised code that isn't already in the language, usually made by people. If you really want to try something new, then try out some libraries, new libraries, because they can be really fundamental depending on what you work on or what you want to work on with your code, could lead to you providing better solutions. Talking about libraries, you could try and build your own library. If you know, just an example, about C and Python, it's really easy to start writing libraries for Python. I've done it myself. Most programming languages provide resources for you to create custom libraries. Sometimes they're called modules or packages. Um, so if you're interested, it's sometimes a good way to see inside the very programming language you use, or at least get a better idea of how some of it might work. If none of that interests you, then the next best thing is to start trying different programming languages. It's always good to know multiple programming languages. There's hundreds of 
programming languages, so if the possibility of even creating a progra programming language isn't interesting, then you could try one that already exists. Most languages are, are kind of specialised and they have more than a few good reasons why they're even still in use today. Like assembly and C are really great for working with hardware. You can see that in Arduino or SparkFun. C++ is really good for a lot of things. Um, I think the most popular, especially with some of you watching, would be for developing games or game engines. JavaScript, HTML, CSS and uh, PHP are really solid for creating websites and the databases that you need for those websites and handling them. And then Python is really welcoming to new programmers and young programmers I would say, but it can also be used for artificial intelligence, processing data, and even what I've already mentioned, like handling databases and making games and working and interacting with websites. So if there's one language that doesn't really excite you or get you interested, there's a really good chance you'll be able to go and tinker about with this other language and it will give you a really good opportunity to really do what you want to do with code.